A dreary day across the Snake River Plain as we had a weak little system blow through late last night, early this morning, putting down a few snowflakes and then high pressure building in behind that system, pushing down on us, keeping things fairly stagnant with the cloud cover, the fog, and at times we've been getting a few flakes some drizzle out of this fog and you're seeing some black ice concerns, especially for the Snake River Plain and all the way out to Boise. That fog has been hitting into the Magic and Treasure Valleys as well. Right now in Idaho Falls, we are at 26 degrees at the airport. It feels like 20 with the wind chill. Light winds out of the west at 5 miles an hour. Pocatello Farm Bureau Sky Cam, we're at 29 degrees, no wind. And again, that light wind allowing for that stagnant atmosphere as well. We switched it up into the mountains where we had clear skies. We had some sunshine today in Jackson, but it's cold out there with the clear sky. Seven currently at the Jackson Airport. Light winds of the northeast at seven miles an hour. Your wind chills down to a minus five. Salmon opposite end of the viewing area. Also seeing some clear conditions. Beautiful today in Salmon. Just cold, of course. 14 degrees with no wind at the airport. Around the region on Viper, it is a dry outlook. The only exception being the fog producing some drizzle, some snow and some ice crystals out there and sometimes that can make roads a little slick. We call that freezing fog. High pressure continuing to settle on in. The jet stream pulling in that cold air from the north, but that high blocking out the moisture and it's going to stay that way for this weekend. As we head through your Saturday, high pressure setting up the inversion and an inversion. Remember, we're pushing the cold air. We're pushing that cloud cover low in elevation, high pressure pushing down on the atmosphere and it pushes that cold air and cloud cover closer to the Snake River Plain and just parks it there. As you work into the mountains, it actually warms up very nicely. Today in Island Park, we got to the 30s and 40s. I expect the same for tomorrow, which is good news for Winterfest, which continues for Saturday. As we take a look at the Viper cast here for tonight, you got the cloud cover, the fog stretching from the Snake Highlands all the way through the Snake River Plain, out through Twin Falls, and even a little bit of some fog at times getting into the Boise area. And that's going to be the forecast here for Saturday. You can see it just kind of hanging out there right along the path of the Snake River in southern Idaho. For the mountains, as soon as you leave the Snake River Plain, you'll see the sun. And as soon as you get around the uh, Income area in Pocatello, you start to break free of the fog and it looks like it's going to be a nice quiet drive into Utah if you're traveling south for tomorrow. And if you're going to Montana, you might hit a little bit of snow, but nothing crazy on the roads. Getting into Saturday night, heading into Sunday, we'll push back on some of that fog. We're not looking for a lot of fog on Sunday, but Sunday night through Monday morning, that fog could reappear. Helping the situation, the winds. Nothing crazy in the wind department. We'll have light winds at about 5 to 10 miles per hour on average for the Snake River Plain. Bit of a breeze east of the Tetons into Jackson, but nothing we can't handle. Temperatures at 33 for the high in McCammon tomorrow. 32 in Lava with lows back into the teens tonight. Getting into Rexburg with a high of 20 eight along with St. Anthony. It's going to be warmer in Island Park compared to Rexburg and St. Anthony with highs there 35 30 for the high in Jackson Central Idaho upper 20s for salmon for the high with a low of two tonight 16 tonight in Chalice warmer in Chalice at 36 25 for the high in Arco. We'll be aiming for the upper 20s around Rigby and Idaho Falls 35 for Pocatello 31 in American Falls mid 30s out towards Burley. Here's your eight day. Notice the temps in the low 30s as we get into Sunday and Monday with a little more sunshine peeking through the clouds and then the snow starts to make a Return to the forecast beginning late Wednesday into Thursday, Friday, and taking us into next weekend. Rexburg, a high of 28 tomorrow, 30 degrees on Sunday, and the upper 20s on Monday with some chilly overnight lows back into the teens. Jackson, your eight-day forecast. Jackson could see a little fog, 32 degrees for the high Sunday, 33 on Monday, and we're pulling in some snow beginning Wednesday through Thursday and Friday towards the end of next week, but you'll notice the temps about the same, mid-30s with the overnight lows into the teens. Salmon, high into the upper 20s for Saturday and Sunday with some patchy freezing fog working back into parts of Lemhi County to get the week started. Tuesday rolls in with highs into the mid 30s, some snow on Wednesday and Thursday. Pocatello, your eight day forecast. Numbers about the same here for the next few days. In fact, no major changes to that temperature spread as we head through the next uh, eight to 10 days in that forecast period. Scattered snow working back through the region, especially for Thursday, Friday, as we have highs into the mid 30s. Idaho Falls, a high of 29 for tomorrow and a high of 30. As we get into areas of Monday and Tuesday, we're going to be seeing a bit of that wet weather here as we get into Wednesday, Thursday and Friday with some scattered snow in the forecast. And, you know, things are going to be looking a little messy late next week, but 
but we expect to see the temperatures staying pretty consistent. Now we'll get to our John Adams Spirit of Idaho here as it loads up. It's just taking its time. I actually brought this back from yesterday because I actually had a request.